Welcome back, everybody. This week, we're going to be talking all about the beautiful hemimorphite. And hemimorphite, right here, as you can see, comes in two different colors. We have the white and we have the blue. And although they do have primarily the same metaphysical properties, some things white does a little better than the blue or vice versa. So first off, just looking at the appearance, the white is loaded with crystals and some of the crystals are pretty large too. Let's get a little bit better of a angle on those. So like this is just covered in crystals, covered. And some of the crystals are, as you go back here, if you can see, they're like a little fan shape. And they are beautiful crystals. And you could get pretty good size chunks of crystals growing all over that with the white. But with the blue, you don't really see big crystals. You kind of see like little, um, almost like uh, how grape agate forms, like the little nodules. And it's like, just coated. It's almost like a blue sugar. It's kind of how I see it. Just gorgeous. And you can see it on this specimen a little better. It is loaded with these little nodules. And you're never going to see big, bulky crystals on the blue, but absolutely beautiful material. And my favorite between the two is blue. I'll get into why in a minute. White, I do have some more specimens somewhere. They're beautiful to look at. They can be pricey. Both the blue and the white hemimorphite are not cheap. So this is definitely not a very cheap one to get into. But whether you're collecting them or you're using them, they're just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Whether you have it on a shelf or not. And when I'm not using them, I do have them on the shelves. So beautiful crystals to have in your collection either way. So what can these crystals do for you? So both of them, right out of the gate, these are associated with your top chakras, whether you're going from the top of your head down. So crown, definitely. Third eye your throat chakra, and then your heart. So these both will deal with those four chakras. So they are going to light up those chakras when you're using these guys. Now, blue, hem blue hemimorphite is more centered around the throat, which I'll get into in a minute, the throat and the heart. And this guy is more centered around the crown and the third eye. But don't let any of that fool you because these are great to work with and they have great high vibrational. It's like a vibrating light energy from these guys. Awesome. So when you're working with these, you're definitely going to really open those top four chakras. And one thing that jumps out, both of these, whether you're doing the white or this blue, it's joy. It's happiness. It's an uplifting, high energy frequency when you're working with these. And it's, you just kind of have to feel it, but it's definitely a vibrant, uplifting energy. And one way to look at it, I know this is kind of weird. This is kind of the way I view it in a kind of, like I was saying, this is kind of, it reminds me of like a blue sugar, like a blue candy. It's almost like a spoonful of sugar. Did you ever take a spoonful of sugar when you were a kid? And I mean, the equivalent of that is, is candy. That's all candy is, is, you know, basically a spoonful of sugar. And you get that immediate burst of energy, of joy, of happiness, and you're, you're bouncing off the walls. And that's kind of what this is. That's kind of the way I view it and remember it because it gives you that vibrant boost of energy kind of kid-like, vibrant, just feel great. You feel joyous. You, you, you just feel good. And more so with the blue, but both of them definitely do that. And blue is, I would say, better for joy, while you have the white, which is better for 
when you're cleansing your aura, but they both cleanse your aura. But personally, if I'm grabbing a white or blue hemimorphite, I'm grabbing the blue. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, white hemimorphite, but blue definitely 90% of the time I'm grab grabbing this. And it's just joyous. It's like, I don't want to say the crystal version of drugs, but it's along the lines of that. It, it's it's like a shot of happiness. And if you work with it enough, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. It's just vibrant, good energy. You just feel good. It just saturates your entire top chakra, chakras from your crown down to your heart. You feel good. You feel vibrant. And you just feel happy. And that's like what that's definitely one of the number one things for this. Now, the white, like I said, both of these do help clean, cleanse your aura. But if I'm looking at more of an aura cleanse, I'm going to go for the white. So what else? Emotional balance is another key one. And no, emotional balance. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying ditch your depression medication if you're on it. I mean, this is, you know, this is going to bring balance to somebody that's out of whack emotionally. And I'll get into that more in depth with the next thing, which is the number one thing, the big thing. And it is great to balance your emotions, though. I will say that. And the next thing which is the number one thing this does. When I first start talking about it, maybe, I don't know, for me, it kind of almost sounds like boring a little bit. But <laughs> bear with me because you're going to understand a little more. And especially if you're in some of these situations, this might be the crystal for you. So what am I talking about with the boring part? Emotional communication enhancement. And yeah, it does right off the bat, it does sound kind of boring, but let's get into this a little bit because there's a lot of people that kind of, well, there's a lot of people that need that. So what do I mean when I say emotional communication enhancement? So when I'm working with blue, specifically blue, it's going to, one of the great things dissolve your ego. And when you're working with it, it all kind of goes in hand with what I was saying about emotional balance, but it's going to dissolve your ego and your ego, meaning it mean in meaning less anger, uh, not wanting to scream and fight. It literally kicks your ego right in the ass and you, you rise above the pride and all the personality flaws and all the, like, you just, you know, whether it's you or whoever, acting like a moron with the ego, the big ego. And in today's world, phew, most people are probably <laughs> egocentric and it just, it makes it difficult, especially in relationships. And that's where I'm headed next. Now, maybe not just for relationships, but you ever have, let's say, you want to talk to somebody about something. Now, don't get this confused with because it's for because it's blue and it's associated with the throat chakra. That's not necessarily where I'm going with this. Yes, it's going to kick in for, with the the whole throat chakra thing because we're talking speech. But I'm not getting into like. Or a crystal or mineral that you are going to use if you have a big presentation at work and, or if you're doing some kind of presentation on stage and you want to speak fluently. And that's, there's better crystals for that. This is connecting with somebody on an emotional level where normally your ego kicks in. So, what I'm trying to say, let's, let's say you had, do you ever ever, well, I'm sure a brother, a sister, an aunt, an uncle, a cousin, uh, you know, your boyfriend, whoever that 
is very difficult to talk to, especially about emotional things. You can't really connect with the person. This is definitely going to help with that. And this almost connects two people's hearts and not always necessarily, I'm saying like from a relationship standpoint, even if you're trying to talk to uh, a loved one and your family and you can't get through to them, that type of thing, this is going to connect heart to heart and it's going to overcome the ego. And do you ever have people where, let's say there's, you know, a husband and a wife and the wife is trying to talk to the husband and the husband is kind of a jackass. I'm just going to say, <laughs> and easy to fly off the handle and, ah, and you can't talk to them. And it's, it's kind of brutal. This is where that kind of comes in. And this is where, when I'm saying ego dissolvement, it's going to allow the person just being around it. That's the important part. It's not like you're going to say, here you go, uh, uh, brother, that you're, you know, acting like a jackass. Here, meditate with this and work on yourself. And no, just having it in the room and having it emanate the energy around you is enough to influence both parties. Both parties to have 100% communication with no BS, no pride, no fighting, no ego. And it's going to quell that ego and help you say, you know what? I do understand what you're saying. Uh, I am, I am wrong. I am the jackass. I'm sorry. That kind of stuff where you could kind of break through and get through that tough emotional stuff where it is so difficult to communicate with certain people that just don't want to hear it. This is coming from a place of deep love where heart to heart, it almost joins the two parties having the conversation so you can actually speak to one another and shed all that p crap, that poisonous, those poisonous personality flaws. You rise above that and it'll help you communicate just by being in the room. This stuff is like, I'm telling you, a vibrating light energy. And it is fantastic to break through with that emotional stuff where you have to talk and it really goes a long way with that. So again, awkward conversations, even from a job conversation, if you're, you're trying to connect with your, you know, whether it be a manager, a boss, or you're just having a heart to heart with anybody, this is the stuff to have around because both parties can dissolve that ego, not get into that. Why? I didn't do that. And, and deflect and push away. And this helps you break through that and say, you know what? I get it. I understand what you're saying. You understand what I'm saying. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. And I'm sorry. Let's get through it in a different way. Blah, blah. Fantastic for that. Fantastic. So connect them with your partner, whoever you're really just laying it all out on the table and you're going to rise above all that crap. So definitely this is the go-to for that. And like I said, you don't need to really delve deep, like with meditation and stuff when you're, you're trying to go that route with this. This will cover an entire room, one piece of this, if it is cleansed and charged, whether you leave it in the sunlight a little bit or the moonlight, this is going to be active and charged and emanating. And both parties are going to feel it, whether they admit it or not. So what else? Now, that's the biggest one. And. That's my number one with this guy. And again, if I'm doing that and that's my goal, I'm grabbing the blue definitely over the white hemimorphite. So the other thing this does is it almost seems like it puts you in the right spot at the right time. 
it, it kind of lines you up for not from a manifestation kind of experience, but it just puts you where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there. And you'll kind of understand that if you use this and work with it enough, it's just kind of amazing. It just pops you in the right spot at the right time, whatever's on your table at that time and just work with it. And it's very, very light energy, but it's a definite high vibration, especially the white. So the other thing too, especially white, if you're looking to work with spirit guides, this is the way to go. This will, like I said, open up your crown chakra all the way through to your heart. This will bring guides into you. This will connect you with guides and allow communication at that higher level. So beautiful, beautiful crystals. Blue hemimorphite, one of my favorites. Great for just, a, like I said, just a recap, kind of like a spoonful of blue sugar. And if you're not using it for emotional communication, I would use this just for joy, just to be happy. It just makes you feel good. It's like it soaks into you and lasts a while. And especially just put this piece in your room, near your bed. It's it's just going to be always soaking up that good, vibrant energy. And not to mention, it's beautiful. Beautiful. One other thing, too. If you do know what Smithsonite is, don't let that confuse you. Smithsonite does look similar to this with the light blue, but they are two totally different things with totally different properties. So. That's pretty much about it with uh, Hemimorphite. Both are gorgeous. I, I feel like I'm kind of knocking the white variety. This is more of a connecting with your spirit guides, just kind of cleansing your aura, where this is going to be emotional communication enhancement, heart to heart, where you could dissolve your ego and or someone else's and have a good heart to heart conversation without those crazy, you know, defensive matchups where you don't really get anywhere when you're having a talk like that. This will help connect your hearts and really help you rise above. So that is about it with this week's video. Hope you liked it. And I will be back next week. See you guys. Thank <laughs> you.